Hey everyone, Nick here from TechOr Duo today. Going to show you guys how to download and install Raspbian onto an SD card. Uh, from there, you would just put in your Raspberry Pi and then uh, just follow the prompts. It's actually very simple. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. The first step is to go to raspberrypi.org. So we're just gonna download a few things first. So raspberrypi.org, this will all be linked down in the uh, description. We'll go ahead and click Downloads. And then we're gonna click Raspbian. So from here, what we're gonna do is click the Raspbian Jesse with Pixel. Um, it does require a, um, an SD card that is probably around eight gigabytes is what I recommend and what they recommend since the file size is four gigabytes by itself. We'll go ahead and click the download zip. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and start downloading for us, there it goes. So it's one and a half gigs. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and download another tool that we need to get this onto the SD card. So we'll go ahead and open a new tab. We're gonna go ahead and um, go to, we're gonna type in Win32 Disk Imager. So just type that into Google, it's gonna pop up. SourceForge is the first link. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna go ahead and click the download button here. We're gonna wait for this to download. Okay. It's gonna prompt us in just a second. Oh, there it goes. So that's finished downloading, and we'll just wait for the Raspberry Pi to finish. Okay guys, so Raspbian just finished downloading. Uh, what I'm gonna do is put it on this SD card now. So this is just a micro SD card, and I have a micro SD card reader right here. Um, this is a USB 3.0, you can get this on Amazon. I'm just gonna pop it right in here, and then uh, plug it into my USB slot. Okay. So then uh, from here, what we're gonna do is um, go ahead and open up this um, zip file. We're gonna have to extract it. So we'll show in folder, bring that up for you guys. So um, I'm just gonna right click on this. Um, I use pzip. Uh, I'm sure you guys might have other um, extracting tools, but I'm just gonna um, right click and I'm gonna click uh, extract. So that's gonna go through the entire process of extracting it. Should just take a, take a minute or so. Okay, and while that's actually going, we're gonna go ahead and run WinDisk Imager. Mm -hmm. And double click on that. Go into Accept. We're gonna click Next, Install. So it's gonna go ahead and install that for us. Okay, and we wanna launch it. So we're gonna finish. And here it is. So it just came up. I am going to now um, look at this. So, um, as you guys can see, this actually created an image right here for us. I'm going to go ahead and put this in a detail view um, just to look at it. So, you type disk image. Um, the size is over four gigabytes. So, you definitely want to get an eight gigabyte or larger um, SD card. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to browse and select that image. Click open. So, my device, my USB is J. As you can see here, USB drive J. And now, all I have to do is click right. So it's gonna ask if we wanna continue, um, it can corrupt it, and so on and so forth. But yes, we wanna continue. And there it goes. So let's give this a few minutes. Um, should hopefully finish, and you know, I believe it says estimated about six, six and a half minutes. We'll uh, come right back. Hey guys, all right, so it just finished. Um, we're gonna go ahead and click okay. Exit, and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the micro USB out right here. I'm gonna take my Raspberry Pi, which has this nice lovely case on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the SD card slot here. All you wanna do then is put the HDMI in, put the power cable in, and you're all set. It's gonna go ahead and boot up. It's going to uh, prompt you with just settings for Raspbian and then throw you right into the uh, onto the desktop there. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if you have any questions, um, please leave them below in the comments, like and subscribe, and that's about it. Thanks, guys.